So I'm going to be loading up an Astrocade game. It is called um, Treasures of Kathy, and I'm going to start loading it from my computer. I'm using Audacity to load the WAV file, which is available on BallyAlley.com. This game was written by John Collins. It was available in 1982. It was sold in a small ad um, in the Arcadian. Uh, as far as I know, um, not many people bought it. Um, it's not talked about much, or really at all. It was archived because from tape because it was in the Bob Fabris collection. Bob Fabris was the publisher. In this game, you have four keywords you can use. These are very brief instructions. If there's more instructions for this game, they have not been archived. I have not seen them. There are 49 locations. There is 18 treasures. I can carry six of them. Each treasure gives you some points. Each move you make... Um, subtracts points from your score. And let's get the game started by pressing run. And we start off at a yard. My friend Chris and I, we played this um, about five days ago, um, here in September 2018. This is a basic program that only will run in Astro Basic. Chris and I mapped uh, about 20 of the rooms, found a couple of things we could do. Um, I'm going to show you just a small example of what we can do. We start off in the yard. You press the cardinal directions, um, one through eight, to go in those eight directions. You can also go down by pressing nine. There are some other commands you can enter. As I was saying, you can uh, enter in, up, drop, and get. And in this case, um, if we wanted to enter one of those commands, we press zero. And we can go back to the previous screen by pressing one for move. We can get our score. Why don't we get our score? It's going to be zero because um, we haven't moved anywhere yet. Um, and as you can see, this is a very, very basic graphic adventure. Uh, Chris and I both th thought that it reminded us of a little of a TRS-80 program, because uh, the AstroCade has pretty low resolution. Um, let's go back to that menu again. Uh, we can check our inventory, which is here. It's called Have. So we press 3. And we don't have anything. It also shows our score on that screen. But we're going to um, go into a, the next screen, and um, which is going to lead us to a shed. And by going there, we go southwest. And I know this because we mapped it. <laughs> now I'm going to use the get command to get this rope. I don't know what to do with the rope yet, but I might as well get it. And in order to get something, I go back to this command menu. Now I can type in get G E. And I'm typing these commands using the 24 key keypad that's available on the Astrocade. It takes a little while to get used to, but eh, I'm used to it. I've been using the Astrocade off and on for 20 years. Um, so I now have the rope. I didn't have to say get rope because there's only one object in these rooms. Um, at least as in every room I've been to only has one object. Um, so I'm going to now go into the next room, which is part of the forest, I guess, and that is going to be if I head east. So I press 3 to head east. Now there's a tree, and uh, from our exploring uh, last week, Chris and I discovered if we can go up this tree. So in order to go up, we have to press uh, the command up. So I can type in up, U, and then we'll type in P if I can figure out how to type it. And now I'm in the tree which reminds us of Zork. Um, in the first Zork, you can uh, find a bird's nest, and inside of it is an egg that's uh, like a jewel-encrusted egg, I think it's described as, and you have to open it up by giving it to the thief, or technically he steals it, and then you get it from him later. If I remember right, it's been a while. <clears throat> so there's a key, and this key is going to allow me to enter a house. Although I don't know how to get out of the house. I thought I knew how, but I, I don't. Um, so I can get the key by entering the command, get, so, and this program runs in 1.8k of RAM, and it's pretty big. I think it's using at array to store our locations, so this program will only run in Astro Basic. Uh, thanks to Kendall for informing me of that. Ken has been kind enough to try to help me figure out how to get a complete listing of this program, because when you list it, you only get the first 99, um, well, uh, not the first 99 lines, but lines uh, up to 99. And if there's more lines, I don't know how to list them, but there's definitely more to the basic program because uh, when you list the program, you don't see 
everything that's even in the program on screen. So um, I can go back down, so I have to press 9 for down. Now I'm at the bottom of the tree. I could go exploring a little bit more, but um, I'm not going to actually do that. I'm just going to go uh, west, um, and I'm at the shed. <clears throat> now if I go from here, if I want to go back to the yard, um, I'm going to go northeast, which is going to be 5. Now I'm at the yard, and from here I can um, go north, which will bring me to a door. And so that would be one for north. And it takes a little while to get used to having to press the numbers 0 through 9 in order to input commands. Um, but, you know, it's you, you make do with what you can do in Astro Basic. Is, uh, Astro Basic, I take that back, is actually more powerful than you might expect, but you are limited to how much RAM you have. And you only can do so much with uh, less than 2K. And you'll probably hear a lot of people talk, oh, 2K is less than the icon on my on my uh, screen or something like that. But it's, a, it's actually quite a bit. I mean, when you see the listing of this program, even though it's not the complete program, you'll see that it holds a lot. <clears throat> what else we got going on here? So from here, we can go through in the door. And I think it's um, north. But if it is, then I don't know how to... Uh, get into it by pressing a direction. But Chris figured out we can press um, in or type in here and it will enter the house um, or whatever it is. It's got a door. Maybe it's an apartment building. I don't know. But it seems like a house once you get inside. And well, we'll type in in now. And we are now in what I think is a living room. And I see a vase. I might as well collect it. Why not? So I'll type get here. And after that, we can head east to go into the hallway. And so east is going to be three. Now I'm in the hallway. There's nothing in this uh, place. And if I want to go back into the living room, I can't head um, west. I have to head south, which is, I guess, um, in Infocom games, sometimes this happens. And some people don't understand it, but it's just because there's a curve. Maybe I entered a hallway um, here to get to this hall that, like, um, like is got, like, a bend in it or something like that. It makes the mapping a little confusing, but you, you get used to that kind of stuff when you play these kind of games. So I want to enter the garage, and I can enter the garage by pressing, um, or by heading west from here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I want to. I messed that up, so I uh, return to the menu. So west is going to be four, because I press W and that doesn't work. I see an axe now. Maybe I can chop down a tree with that or something. I don't know for sure. But I'm going to get it because it's something to do. So I'm getting the axe. Now I have the axe, and from here I can enter a few other rooms. I don't know how to exit this house, unfortunately. So now that I'm in it, I, I think I'm, st I'm probably not stuck. I just don't know how to leave it yet. Uh, hopefully Chris can help me figure that out next time we get together. Hopefully we'll play this game and uh, beat it. Maybe there's an ending. There's definitely uh, quite a bit to this game. There's um, a maze with uh, which we couldn't escape from, and there's uh, a whole bunch of rooms and many items and. There's someone named Bob in the game, um, uh, which we got to. And as you can see, the descriptions are very short and terse. Um, you are at Garage. So it's kind of like a Douglas Adams game. So there's, you know, simple simple things that you see in the screen. That's it. Um, from the Garage, I think I can head north to get somewhere. Let me check that out here. Or I can't head north by pressing N. That doesn't work. So let me get to the Move screen again. So head north by pressing 1, not N. Now I'm in the kitchen. I, I can see some food. Why don't I pick that up? Uh, typing in get. And as you can see, typing in commands overwrites input code, which is a little unusual, but hey, it works. Let's see if I can't figure out how to exit this. Maybe I can go um, north again or something like that. Or, I don't know, maybe south. Uh, that brings me back to the garage. So let's go north again. 
From here, let's head east. I'm in a den. I see a pen. Let's pick up the pen. Um, <clears throat> pick up the pen. Type in get again. And this isn't a review of this game, by the way. This is just... I wanted to throw something quick together. But I also enjoy playing the game. I, I don't know why it's simple. Uh, but I um, find it... Uh, first, I find it very interesting that something like this was able to be done in Astro Basic. Because there's more to this game than than it would appear to be done easily in Astro Basic anyway. Especially in just a few lines of code. Um, so I'm in the den. And let's see if I can go east from here, maybe. Uh, if I go west will that bring me back the way I came yeah so let's go east um, I should be mapping this game but since I'm making a quick video I'm not and let's go maybe north can't do it let's go south oh I'm back in the hall if I head north from here will I go in there no so that's a little confusing let's head south to go into the uh, I think that'll bring me back into the living room so south, I'm in the living room. Now, <clears throat> this is the room I entered by going through the door. So maybe if I press in, I can uh, do, uh, exit the house. So let's try that. I'm discovering as much as you guys are. Let's see, it turns out that doesn't work. So I do want to leave. <laughs> Can't go down. Let's see, in order to go into the hall, I pressed east. So let's press everything but east. Oh, it's north in order to get back to uh, the door. So from here I head south. So south. I'm at the yard again. Let me see if I can't find my way to the maze. And then uh, that's kind of an interesting little place to explore. I'm at the yard. So from here I head south. West. So southwest will be six. And I'm at a shed. From here I can uh, head south to get to an area that has a well. And of course I know these things because I have a map that was made a few nights ago. Uh, so going south, we are at a well. And I don't know if I can use the rope to get into the well. Let's check it out. Let's try going down into the well. It doesn't work. Let's see if I can uh, go into it by pressing in. Um, I, N. Nope, that didn't work. Um, but from here, I can go, let's see, south to get to another tree. So let's go south. And I will head um, east from here. That's going to bring me to a road. East is uh, number three. <clears throat> and there are several roads in this game. Some of them have stuff along it. Now I'm going to head into uh, area that has a, a cave. So in order to go there, I have to go south uh, west, I think. So six. Mm, southeast, sorry about that. Southeast is eight. And now I see a cave, so I should get the lamp. I don't know what happens if I go into the cave without the lamp. Maybe I get eaten by Gru. That would be kind of cool. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen, and I'm not going to try it. <laughs> and so now I have to pick it up, so I press get. And now I've got it. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Um, what? Why didn't that work? Oh, how many items do I have? I only can hold six. So what do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six things. Um, let me try dropping one thing. That's kind of an interesting way to do it, because in this case, you could pick what you want to drop. You wouldn't think you can, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop, I don't know, one of them. Let's go back in here, and I'll type in drop. So let's see here. You know, my little finger, my index finger is getting a little tired because I haven't uh, typed on the astrocade for a while. And you have to press the keys pretty hard in order for that to work. So now it's going to ask me what I want to drop. Um, I'm going to not drop the rope. Then it's going to ask me if I want to drop the next key. And I want to drop the key. Um, I guess, I guess it dropped the key for me. Or maybe I pressed the wrong button. I don't know. But now. Um, well, now there's the key there. And did that mean I picked the something up? A little confusing. Learning this game together. All right. I don't... Oh, oh I see a lamp. So I can... I, so I can see both, but then it gets overwritten. So I want to... Um, 
say take or get in this case. I see a key. So I guess it picked up the, let's see, my inventory. The game's a little iffy on how it works, and maybe it explains more in the directions, but I don't have those. Um, so let's see what I have. Let's see if I have the lamp now. I don't have a lamp, I don't think. <laughs> let's just go into the cave. So let's enter cave. Um, it, yeah, there's, this game has some quirks. Many Astrocade games do that are written in basic. I mean, you know, these games were probably thrown together pretty quickly. Um, even though this one probably wasn't. But in order to... I mean, there's no error checking in most of these kind of games because error checking introduces more code, which is going to add to the um, size of the program, which, since you don't have anything to work with to begin with for RAM, you don't want to do stuff like that. So let's uh, enter in to go into the cave. Um, so zero, and then IN. If I get eaten by Gru, that's that's my problem. I'm at the cave, and I couldn't enter in here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if I go south. I guess in order to enter the cave, you have to have the lamp, which I can't pick up anymore. Well, there's a. I think I'm going to have to write John Collins a letter and say, uh, "You've got it. There's an issue going on here." Let's see. What do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six things. Um, I'm going to drop something. Let's see what I can drop. Let me drop the... Let's see, let's get to drop. I'll drop the rope, sure. It'll get me into the... Oh, I do have the lamp. Alright. Let's see if I can't go in now. So earlier, um, when I played this uh, last week with my friend, we were able to get in here by pressing in or going south, but let's try going one of the directions. Nope. South. Nope. East. Nope. West. Nope. North. East. No. Nope. South. East. Um, let's see. Northwest, I think, is going to bring me back to the road. So let's go there. Let's see if that works. Yeah. So from here, I want to go back um, southeast. And that brings me back to the cave. And let's see if I can't enter it by going north southeast. Nope. You are at a cave, which I cannot enter. I wonder if we had picked up something before. Oh, you know what? One of the things I didn't pick up, which we could have gotten before, was oil. I bet I need the oil and the lamp in order to get into the game, which is kind of cool. If that's the case, I'm going to think this game is way better than, than I already think it is, which is pretty cool. So let's explore this game together. I'm moving up. All right, so um, let's go northeast. Um, I can't do that, so north. That's... Um, that's not going to do anything. I see a key. I want to go northeast, which is five. Oh, northwest I need to go. So seven. Now I'm at a road. But I need to go to a, a different road, which I get to from here by going northwest again, I think. Let's see. But yeah, this time I got the oil. Or I will have the oil, but I think that means I have to drop something. So let me go southeast, <clears throat> and I'm going to drop, I don't know, what do I have to drop? I can drop, um, all right, let's see. We are going to drop, not the lamp, <laughs> the vase. What do I need the vase for? I'll drop that sucker. Now let's go north east or north uh, northwest I mean and that's a seven. 
I see the oil. Let's get the oil. Um, pick it up. So let's get it. Whoops, I misspelled that. And then I get it. Hey, maybe I only have to press, yeah, G. Uh, let's see if it's in my inventory. So what do I have? Oil and lamp. It's weird that there's no spaces between those, but I was thinking about it and why that would be the case, and that would save a bite if you don't have to have a space. So as sad as that is, uh, he could save probably, if there's 16 objects, he can save 16 bytes by not having a space after each word. Um, but that's the way you had to think when you were programming the Astrocade in BASIC uh, if you didn't have expansion RAM, which was extremely rare and pretty expensive back then. So from here, I want to go southeast to go along the road again. Oh, southeast. I have to go and press um, 8 to go southeast. And I have to press it again to go southeast again. Now let's see if my hunch was correct. Let's see if I can enter this now that I have the lamp and the oil. Um, that'll be pretty cool if that works. Let's see, so now if I type in... No, well, it didn't work. Well, I'm not going to uh, fuss with this game anymore. I'm going to explore it some more at another time when you're not listening to me play. Uh, I want to get this out so someone can help me try to figure out uh, a listing for this complete game. Uh, maybe there's a way we can see everything that's going on and examine the code. Um, if you get a chance, try some of these basic games out. Try this one out. Um, maybe you'll get further than me. Um, I'm enjoying these kind of games. This is one of a few of this game type that were made for this system. I think um, they're all kind of fun. Uh, come visit uh, BallyAlley.com, download the game for your Astrocade, and maybe before too long, there'll be a way to load Astro Basic games into the Astrocade emulator that's included with MAME. Thanks for watching. Oh, and up next is going to be the basic listing. Um, so this is out, I'm putting this out there for my friend Ken to take a look at the listing and see if he can tell me what he thinks might be able to be a, a way to list more parts of the program. Thanks.